Finally, a story that happened 75 years ago, in March of 1943. St. Louis's fire chief was killed in the line of duty, the only time that has happened in the city's history. We first told the story in 1997 and heard firsthand of that tragic day from Chief Joseph Morgan's son. As I got out of the car, a man, a fireman passed me. He said to me, son, aren't you the chief's kid? And I said, yes, I am. He said, you better get up there in a hurry. He said, your dad's been hurt real bad. And he said, I don't think he's gonna make it. I was only 17 years old at the time. The younger Morgan, who passed away in 2003, served as Clayton's fire chief. His father was chief in the city of St. Louis until that tragic Saturday morning in the spring of 43. The Goodwill Industries building, north of downtown on Howard Street, caught fire and it spread fast. The chief's house had an alarm and young Joseph decided to go and watch the big fire. It was clear the old building was weakening. Firefighters were still inside and on the roof, and Chief Morgan went up the fire escape to order his men out, stopping to check every floor. There were seven men in, inside the building, and he actually went up there to tell them to get out. And there was a, the Rethmeyer Coffee Company is right next door, and he told him, he said, jump on that roof there and go over to the ladder and climb down and get out of here. He said, this building's unsafe. So all seven of them did, and uh, they, he saved their life, you know. The chief was still on the fire escape when it all came down. His son arrived just a moment later as they were digging him out. He rode the ambulance with him to City Hospital, but there was nothing that could be done. It was, it's hard to believe it's been that long ago. He was a fine man, though, fine man. The funeral was one of the biggest the city had ever seen. Funeral services were held at the Scottish Rite Cathedral. The eulogy was delivered by Mayor William D. Becker, who himself would die along with other civic and business leaders in the Lambert Field glider crash in August of that year. But this was 1943 and even those tragic events would be quickly overtaken by other news from Europe and the South Pacific. But the man who gave his life to save others in the Goodwill Fire is not forgotten. The Fire Chief Joseph W. Morgan Memorial Foundation is raising money to place a memorial to him in a prominent St. Louis location. Absolutely fine man. <laughs>